Hi students, good morning. So in this video we are going to see our uh, fifth poem. Everest is not the only peak written by the author Clothungan. Okay, uh, so first let us see about the author intro. So the name of the poet is Professor V.C. Kulandai Swami known as Clothungan. Okay, so Professor V.C. Kulandai Swami, so born in 1929 and he lived till 2016. So he was shortly known as Clothungan, is an eminent technologist, a man of letters and an educationist known for his pioneering contributions in hydrology, literature and education. And he has authored six volumes of poems and seven of prose essays which earned him the Thiruvalluvar Award from the Government of Tamil Nadu in 1999. So he won the Sahitya Academy Award in 1988 for his book Volum Valluvam. And his works deal with the themes that reflect the gamut of human progress and all and the all pervasive human effort. Right. So, Professor V. C. Kulandai Swami was uh, famously known as Clothungan. So, he was an eminent technologist. Eminent means a famous, okay, a famous technologist, um, a man of letters and an educationist known for his pioneering contributions in hydrology. Okay, so he was a man of letters. He has written many letters. He was an educationist known for his pioneering. So, what does mean by pioneering? Uh, it means, uh, so he had involved many new ideas or methods. Okay, in what? Uh, in the, So, it shows his contributions in hydrology. Okay, so what does mean by hydrology? It means study of water. So, he uh, he got a PhD in hydrology and uh, literature and education. So, we can see his participation in hydrology, uh, literature and education. So, he has authored six volumes of poems and seven of prose essays which earned him the Thiruvalluvar Award from the government of Tamil Nadu in 1999. Okay, so he had written six volumes of poems and seven of prose essays. So, which had helped him or which earned him the Thiruvalluvar Award from the government of Tamil Nadu during the year 1999. So, he won the Sahitya Academy Award in 1988 for his book Valum Valuvam. Okay, so he also, apart from the government, award from government of Tamil Nadu, so he had also got Sahitya Academy Award in 1988. So, for which book? For the book uh, Valum Valuvam. So, his works deal with the themes that reflect the gamut of human progress and the all uh, pervasive human effort. Okay, so what does mean by pervasive means? That is, um, uh, so he ha his effort is involved in all the parts okay this that is he was an educationist he was a man of letters he had written poems uh, he had made his uh, contributions or he, or he had contributed many good ideas or methods in the field of hydrology literature education okay so likewise his effort is present in many parts that is in a variety of things okay that is uh, called his pervasive human effort okay so, this poem, Everest is not the only peak, is one of the famous poem written by the uh, author, that is the poet, Clothungan. Uh, okay, now let us get inside the poem. Okay. So, Everest is not the only peak. So, what is the, what does the title insist? Okay, so... What this what does this title Everest is not the only peak insist? Okay, so actually this poem shows the optimistic approach. Okay, so the author insists the readers to have a optimistic view on the life. So what is mean by optimistic view? What is mean by optimism? Optimism means thinking in a <coughs> so thinking in a positive manner. Okay. So, the author insists all the readers 
to have an optimistic look that is to have a positive look in their life and also the author emphasizes the leaders to excel in their work that is they have to that is we the readers have to excel in all the works that we do and we have to carry all our work with perseverance so what is mean by perseverance so perseverance means with a steady effort with a continuous effort with a non stopping effort that is called as perseverance okay and also the author insist to the readers of this poem to have perseverance and courage okay so this is what the title of the poem insist it is nothing but the author insist all the readers of this poem to have a positive approach towards the life and also we should have a perseverance a perseverance and a courage in all the step we take in our life okay so uh, this is what insisted by the title of the poem now let us have a short look of the warm up part okay so identify the following personalities and their fields of achievement so they have given the pictures of some famous personalities and also they have given boxes to fill the uh, to fill their fields okay so who is the first picture he is kailash uh, satyarthi okay so he was one of the nobel prize winner so the second picture is mitali raj you know who is mitali raj she is an indian women cricket team captain right and the next one is nammalwar uh, so nammalwar is, is a famous person in organic farming right next one is dr v shanta so he was the chair person of the adayar cancer institute right so uh, she had passed away very recently before few months okay she is dr v shanta she is the chair person founder of the adayar cancer institute who passed away recently in the next is um sundar pichai so everyone know who is uh, sundar pichai right so he is the ceo of uh, google right next one is bachendri pal she was a mountaineer and next one is amritya sen so he was an economist and the last one everyone knows kalpana chavla she was a she was an astronaut right okay now so you can fill this in your book next uh, mention a remarkable achievement of any of these personalities okay remarkable means the notable achievement of any one of these personalities so you can write who whomever you wish okay so mention a remarkable achievement of any of these personalities and the next question is what quality do you admire the most in each of these achievers okay so admire what is mean by admire that is uh, by which quality you are attracted okay so they have given pictures of many famous personalities right so which quality of them attracts you much okay that is what quality do you admire the most in each of these achievers next one is what are the qualities that you may share with them so what are the qualities that you would like to share with these achievers and the last one is name a few more popular personalities who have made our nation proud so there are many other popular personalities who had gained uh, much proud for our nation right so you can mention whomever you wish in this a b c n d dashes right now let us get inside the poem so from the warm up part itself you might have understood what the poem might be or how the poem might be right now uh, read the poem everest is not the only peak in blank verse and get to know the greatness of human virtues from the poet's perspective okay now let us get inside the poem so now read the poem everest is not the only peak in blank verse so what do you mean by blank verse so blank verse is nothing but they are the poetry lines that has a rhythm okay so the poems will have a rhythm but the poem but the poem lines do not end with the same sound that is they will not end with they will not end with the rhyming words okay the poem will have a rhythm but they do, but they won't end with the rhyming words that is called as 
blank verse. Okay. Now, and get to know the greatness of human virtues. So, what is mean by human virtues? Human virtues means human qualities. So, what is mean by virtues? Qualities. So, human virtues means the uh, qualities which we, the human beings, possess from the poet's perspective. Perspective means view. So, from the poet's point of view, what are all the human qualities? Okay, what are the greatness of the human qualities? So, that is what we are going to learn from this poem, right? Now, we are proud and feel so tall. Our virtues, though be few and small, our nature it is that whatever we try, we do with devotion deep and true. Okay, now what is the first stanza say? So, now in this video we are going to see the first three stanzas of this poem. So, defeat we repel, courage our fort, cringing from others we have not done. To seek again we adore none, we are proud and feel so tall. We deem it our duty and mission in life to bless and prize the deserving ones. Never shall we fail in what we commit, shall nourish the ones that nourish the world. Okay. Now let us go from first stanza. So what is first stanza? We are proud and feel so tall. Okay. Here, what does the word we refer to? So who is the speaker of this poem actually? So the speaker of this poem is... Clothungan, the author, Clothungan is the speaker of this poem, right? So, we are proud and feel so tall. So, who, who uh, what is the word we refer to? We refers to ourselves, that is the readers of this poem or it refers to the people in the society. Okay, the people who are, are living in the society. So, we refers to the reader of this poem or we refers to ourselves or the people living in the society. So, we are proud and feel so tall. So, what we are, how we are feeling? We are feeling very proud and also we feel so tall. So, tall means here not our height, height, okay. So, we are feeling very high about ourselves, okay. The people living in the society, okay, they are feeling very Proud and high. So, we, are, we should feel very proud and high about ourselves. Our virtues though be few and small. So, already I told you what is the meaning of virtues. So, virtues means the qualities which we possess. So, our virtues means the qualities of the human beings. Okay. So, our virtues though be few and uh, small. So, our virtues though may be few and small. So, the qualities which we possess may be few and small. So, the qualities which we possess may be very few and it may be small in quantity. Or the quality of doing what is right and what is wrong. Okay. Or the qualities which, may, which we possess may be very few and small in quantity. Okay. Our nature it is that whatever we try... We do with devotion deep and true. Okay, so what is the nature of what is the nature of the people living in the society or what is the nature of the human being is? Okay, so um, our nature is that whatever we try, so whatever we are trying, whatever we are doing in our life, we should do it with a devotion. So, what does mean by devotion? It is our commitment. It is our dedication to the work or the duty or an act or an activity which we are performing. Okay. It is our, uh, it is our commitment or devotion or dedication towards the act which we are performing. Okay, so how the commitment should be or how the dedication should be is, it should be very deep and it should be true. 
okay that is we have to do it very deeply so whenever we do something with dedication definitely we will do it very deeply that is with much involvement and also it should not be fake it should be true okay it should not be fake it should be true okay this is what said in the first answer so in this first line itself we can ask many questions for comprehension so who is the speaker of this poem what does the word we refer to how should we feel about ourselves so we should feel very proud and tall that is very high about ourselves so how what are the how the our qualities should be so our uh, so our qualities should so even though it is very few and small we should not bother about it okay because we have why because we have to feel very proud and high about ourselves our nature it is that whatever we try okay so whatever we try we have to do it with dedication that is with commitment devotion so whenever we do or any work with the devotion or commitment it will be very in, it will be in very depth and it not be fake definitely it will be true that is deep and true this is what said in the first stanza now let us go for the second stanza defeat we repel courage our fort cringing from others we have not done to seek again we adore none we are proud and feel so tall so defeat we repel courage our fort okay so generally we people will have a hatredness towards the defeat that is repel so defeat we repel that is we have a hatredness or we have a hatred towards the defeat and what is our fort fort nine what is mean by fort so it is the what is that the king's palace will be surrounded by fort so how the fort will be it will be very very strong so which is like our fort is our courage is like our fort okay defeat we hate and our bravery is our strong fort our courage that is our braveness is our strong fort cringing from others we have not done so what is mean by cringing so be behaving in an humble manner or behaving in a fearful manner okay cringing from others we have not done so we should not have or we need not have any fear towards anybody okay for the mistake that we have not done okay there is no need for fearing for uh, fearing from others for the mistakes that we have not so that is there is no need of bending our head okay uh, bending our head or body in fear to anybody to seek again to seek again we adore none okay what does mean by adore adore means cheating or flattering okay cheating you know what is mean by cheat right to seek again we adore none so see this line gain means to seek any gain or to seek any goodness that is to get any goodness we should not cheat anyone okay that is by cheating anyone we should not try to achieve anything in gain we are proud and feel so tall why because we have to feel very proud about our, ourselves and we should feel so high about ourselves can you understand so what is said in this stanza is so defeat we repel so generally we have a hatredness towards the defeat and what is like our fort our courage is our fort our braveness our bravery is our fort cringing from others we have not done so so generally uh, what we will do so we will move back by force avoiding the defeat so usually people will avoid the defeat okay 
springing from others we have not done so there is no need to fear from anyone or bow our head or body before anyone for the mistake that which we have not committed and also the most importantly to seek any goodness or to seek any gain we should not flatter or cheat anyone that is adore we are proud and feel so tall so see this line we are proud and feel so tall is repeated in the beginning of the first stanza and in the end of the second stanza it shows the stress the poet lays on this lines right okay next let us go for the third stanza so we deem it our duty and a mission in life to bless and prize the deserving ones never shall we fail in what we commit shall nourish the ones that nourish the world okay so we deem it our duty and mission in life to bless and prize the deserving ones okay so what is mean by deem here deem means consider so we consider it our duty and mission so what is mean by mission mission means aim or goal to bless and prize the deserving ones so what is mean by deserving ones suppose we say um he is a deserving person to get the prize abdina enna so the meaning is he is one of the suitable person apt person okay he is the suitable person to get the prize okay likewise we should consider it our duty and aim in our life to bless and prize the deserving ones so we have to appreciate we have to wish and appreciate the deserving ones never shall we fail in what we commit shall nourish the ones that nourish the world right so never shall we fail in what we commit so <coughs> we should never fail in our commitment okay shall nourish the ones that nourish the world so what is mean by it so we should promote the ones so we should appreciate the people who work for the who work for strengthening or building the world who work for the development of the world okay never shall we fail in what we commit so commit means the work to which we are committed for example as a student you are committed to read and score good marks right as a parent your parents has a commitment to bring you very well in your life is it an as teachers we have the commitment to teach you so as teachers <coughs> we have the commitment to teach you well is it or not so likewise that is what this is the meaning of commit okay so never shall we fail in what we commit so we should never fail in whatever work we are committed shall nourish the ones that nourish the world so what is mean by the word nourish so nourish means <coughs> to help for the growth and the development of someone so we have to see there are this word nourish is repeated two times so the meaning is we have to help the, help the growth and the development of help for the growth and the development of someone who is working for the development of the world okay so that is we have to help for the growth and development of the people who are working for the who are working for strengthening the world that is who are working to bring up the world that is uh, to strengthen the world by developing it in different manner okay so we have to help them for the people who are working for strengthening the society or strengthening the world okay this is what said in the third stanza so we have to consider it our duty and aim in the life to bless and to prize the deserving ones that is to bless and appreciate the deserving people we should never fail in our commitment <coughs> so we should never fail in our commitment towards the work and we have to uh, help for the growth and development of the people who worked for the who are working for strengthening the world 
<clears throat> I think you have understood. So we have seen the first three stanzas. So we are proud and feel so tall. So that is we have to. We should feel very proud and high about uh, ourselves. Our virtues, qualities, the human qualities which we possess may be few and small in quantity. Uh, what is our nature? Our nature is that whatever we try, we have to do it with deep devotion and uh, we have to do it very uh, <coughs> with the truth. Okay. So, generally we have a hatred towards the defeat and our bravery is like the fort. It is very strong like the fort. And we should not bow our head or body before anyone for the mistake that in fear for the mistake that we have not committed. And for getting some gain we should not uh, cheat or flatter anyone. And we have to feel very proud and high about us. So you have to consider it our duty and aim in the life to bless and apprise the deserving people. And we should never fail in our commitment that is the work to which we have committed or the goal to which we are committed. And we have to... Uh, help the pe people who are he working very hard towards the development and of the world. Okay. So, this is what we have seen in the first three stanzas. <coughs> Go through these questions. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. 1, 2 and 3. Okay. And um, poem comprehensions. That is the poem lines. Our nature, it is that whatever we try, we do with devotion, yeah. deep and true. So, what does we refer to? So, in the poem, you might have seen the word we is repeated very often in the poem lines, right? So, what does we refer to? We refers to ourselves or the people in the society, okay? How should we carry out our, <clears throat> how should we carry out our duties? So, how should we, we carry out our duties? We have to do it with devotion, right? <clears throat> So, defeat we repel, courage our food. So, how do we react towards the defeat? So, we react uh, to the, towards the defeat. How do we react? We repel it. We hate it, right? Which, so, which is considered as our stronghold. So, courage or bravery or strength is considered as our stronghold. Next. Okay. So, we have covered first two questions, right? Okay. Ba. So, watch the video completely. So, note the points in the poem lines itself. So let us meet in the next video, okay? Thank you.